Hi, my name is Corey Edmondson. I'm the president and CEO of Peterson Health. I was born and raised in Amarillo, graduated, moved to Lubbock and went to Texas Tech, go Red Raiders, uh, guns up. Uh, then after graduation, uh, ended up in healthcare in Midland for 25 years we lived there. So that, that's where we raised our family. My wife, Angie, and I married 29 years, my high school sweetheart. Uh, she's been a rock in my life. We have three boys, Colton, who is 26, Grant, who is 23, and Luke, who is 21. I also have two daughters. They are my daughter-in-laws, but we like to call them our daughters. That is Katie, who's married to Colton, and uh, Matea, who's married to Grant. What I like to do in my free time, I like to golf when I have the opportunity and exercise now is cycling. I'm a newbie at that, uh, so it's not, I'm not an expert, but I'm, I'm trying. What is important to me uh, is God and family. I think people are important. How you treat people is most important. I don't think of myself as any better than anybody else. Uh, everybody has uh, an importance here. My title as president and CEO means nothing to me. I just have a different responsibility than other, other people within Peterson. For example, I met Thomas from housekeeping the other day. He was going up the elevator with his burnisher. He was obviously had been doing some floors and taking care of the hospital. And I spoke with him a little bit. I think he's been here for six years. Uh, talked to him for a little bit, learned a little bit about Thomas. And Thomas's job is just as important as mine. Uh, we have different responsibilities, but he makes us all look good. He makes this hospital clean and he, he's important because he makes us all look good. I got into healthcare really to help others. It's really helping people in their most vulnerable state. I have an opportunity to impact people both directly and indirectly. I take that very seriously because decisions that I make every day, the, the plans that I make will impact people either positively or negatively. So it goes back to my philosophy about others first is philosophically kind of how I like to, to look at life and look at things. Healthcare, I've been in healthcare for 25 years. Um, it's, I've been in hospital administration for 18. I started out originally as an owner of a durable medical equipment business. That's what got me involved. And I was delivering medical equipment to homes, wheelchairs, hospital beds. It really impacted me because I saw people in their homes in their most vulnerable state. It cemented my, my love for healthcare and, and helping others. I then got into hospital administration for a period of time and and then was uh, asked to start up a wound care business uh, with a, an organization. So I opened up a, a wound care business for, for several years and then got into practice management uh, with the hospital in Midland. And after, after a, a period of time with that, then I got into actual hospital administration, uh, both on the clinical side and on the non-clinical side been a joy to, to do that. It's been something what I, I use is, is pure joy uh, in, in healthcare. It was about two years ago that uh, my wife and I spoke and I said I needed something different. Uh, it was time for me to move beyond Midland. So I've been looking for two years for something that w where I could make an impact and I could influence others. And so what drew me to Peterson first was the job. It was, I'll just be quite honest, it was the job. And then I got to look at the research on Peterson, impressed with the quality, uh, what it did as an as a organization in the community. They are exceptional in, in what they do. They are excellent in what they do. They are striving to be the best. Then when I arrived on the interview, my first uh, impression was Aurelia. When I walked through the door, and she was bright, smiling face, very energetic, welcoming. And I thought, if this is what Peterson's about, I'm going to like it. And then I sat down with the board, who I will tell you, as from a community standpoint, and I will, I will tell you, community, you have a strong board who's committed. They take time out of their lives, out of their family, out of their jobs, and they want the best for Peterson. You have a great board. 
but when I entered the board uh, room, they were warm, they were welcoming, they made me feel comfortable. And after two hours with them, I was more impressed. Uh, they, did, they did a great job. They were selling me on Peterson and I was comfortable. When they invited me back, and I spent another four hours with them during an, an interview process, it cemented my decision that uh, if they were to offer me a job, this is where I wanted to be. And I'm proud to say that's where, uh, where I am today. Be honest with you, driving down to Kerrville, I was nervous. What was I going to get into? What was it going to be like? As we entered the community, which we had been here before, but not spent a whole lot of time, I was impressed. Uh, when I saw water, when I saw green, I saw trees, because where I'm from, there's not much of that. Uh, I was excited uh, because it's a vibrant community. It is growing. It is active. That's what's exciting. That's what's exciting about to me for Kerrville. Lots of exploring to do, activities. Uh, it is, uh, I'm really impressed with Kerrville. Looking forward to uh, enjoying it, making an impact, getting to meet the leaders, getting to meet people. The people in the community have also been extremely nice. My management and leadership style is macro management. If you look up that philosophy, basically it says that you let people do their job. I expect people to take ownership of who they are, what they do, and how they treat others. People are, at Peterson, an owner of Peterson. I want them to believe that and think that. Treat Peterson as if they own it. They need to also act as owners of their self. They need to be healthy both mentally, physically, socially, and financially. And when you pull all those things together as an owner, you, you become a better person. <clears throat> My goal is to make people better. I like coaching people. I don't like managing people. I like coaching people. So my bottom line and my management style is, you'll hear me say, own it. The board asked me who has inspired me in my life, and I'll tell you the same answer. It's my wife, Angie. She inspires me because she, she pushes me to be my best. She is my spiritual accountability partner. She is authentic. She is approachable. She's trustworthy. That's who I want to aspire to be. She has made the biggest impact in my life because she just wants me to be my best. One of my favorite quotes was from years ago, uh, and I, I use it with my kids. I use it with people. Uh, it's from Charles Swindoll. Life is 10% of what happens to you and 90% how you react to it. It's all about our attitude. If you control your attitude, you have a choice. You can choose to be positive or negative. How you react to things that, that uh, happen to you in life, you have a choice. And so my, my response to people is react positively. Some lasting thoughts and impressions that maybe I'd like to, to say is how you live your life is, I use the, the terms good, better, best. We can all be good. Peters can be good, but is that good enough? Really, we want to be better. And we strive to be better, both at Peterson and in life. But that's still not where I want to be. We want to be the best. We want to be the best regionally. We want to be the best at everything we do. We want to be best personally. The whole work. The other thing I'd like to, to talk about is what's most important really in life is people. It's about others. It's not about ourselves. We have a choice on how to treat others. We can choose to treat them good or bad. I suggest the wise choice and treat them good. What's important is just like Peterson's motto is elevate health, let's elevate others. I'm excited about this new chapter in my life, my family's life. My kids are excited about it um, and friends are excited for me about that. It's gonna be a great journey and I'm looking forward to it and, and I'm hoping to make a lasting and great impact in this community uh, and at this hospital.